We begin tonight in Petroleum County, where last summer I took a trip to Winnet to see some of the projects the town had to bring new life into Winnet. On Friday, I took a trip back to the town to visit a completed multi-million dollar community center and receive an update on other projects going on. The project started like this. And the finished product, a multi-use community center. We have organizations from across the state that are reserving this building already. So um, I have stuff scheduled out till November right now. So it's people know it, people um, are appreciative of it, and they're going to really use it. Lance Olson is the director of the Petroleum County Community Center, a vision that's become a reality. A multi-use gym with a stage, a full-service kitchen, and a meeting area large enough to hold that company party. So cool to see this in these small towns, especially in eastern Montana, um, to see something big and new come up. A community effort and generous win at high school alumni, a community gathering space wouldn't exist. Down the road, I met with Laura Nolan of the Winnet Aces to talk about some of the other projects going on in town. At 55 Main Street, it's seeing progress. Have, uh, we've gotten funding from Montana Tourism and Central Montana Foundation, Petroleum County Endowment Fund, to work on building an addition, which is under construction right now, and we hope will actually be open this summer. The addition has two restrooms that will be available from the exterior. This area that I'm standing in is going to be a place for hunters and anglers to use the restroom to refuel, but it's also going to be a place for community gatherers to use. Just another addition to make sure that Winnet is a thriving community. So this whole storefront is new, uh, but it was designed around these doors, which originally came out of the courthouse. Behind those doors, hopefully a coffee shop and upstairs family housing. The 55 Main project will cost around $550,000, but funding is $250,000 short to completion. With town construction and additions, it's created a large economic boost in town. They're shopping in the grocery store, eating at the bar, buying gas here, um, looking for housing here. If it's available, they're renting places here. And, and so, right, our community, when it itself is less than 200 people, the county is less than 500 people, so just a few people make a big difference. Friday night.